Welcome back to Ida Summit. We thank our sponsors in Sulfuro and Bromic Heating. Moving ahead with our workshop session, today's workshop is on origami in architecture. A brief about our mentor. Anand Vishwanathan is a practicing architect from New Delhi with interests in signage and visual communication, graphics design, logo, and branding. Through his firm, Beyond Space, he has worked for many prestigious projects pan India, including Ministry of External Affairs, Ministry of Culture, NBCC Limited, Rights Limited, National Council for Science Museums, etc. He has designed the, the first ever graphical signage for the World Heritage Sites of Red Fort and Qutub Minar and National Museum Delhi. He has worked extensively on the International Terminal 3 Airport building at New Delhi for a very challenging signage and visual communication assignment. He is also a visiting faculty at SEPT, NIFT, and NIT in Ahmedabad, teaching subjects like deployable structures, 3D geometry, polyhedra, basic designs and graphics, packaging design and branding. Origami has been his passion since childhood. And for the past eight years, he has been sharing his, this art by conducting workshops in various design institutes. So I would like to give the screen now to architect Anand Vishwanathan. Thank you, Gauri, uh, for the introduction. So great. Thank you for, for, uh, for inviting me uh, and sharing uh, what all like I've been uh, experiencing the last few years with this art especially so i think uh, it's just the curiosity uh, uh, you know is the reason that i'm here today just curiosity that uh, uh, you know how you fold paper in a certain way and what you end up with so that curiosity is still not dead uh, I mean, thankfully because origami is such a vast subject uh, it's like maybe i i sometimes feel i've just touched the surface you know there's so much deep uh, to go inside. Like today, I was just making this uh, this particular model just by a few mountain and valley folds. Uh, what an amazing thing you can get! Or uh, this uh, this pen stand that I made using origami. <laughs> yeah, so uh, so origami, like I've been doing it since childhood. Uh, you know, making. I think we all have done making planes and boats and birds and everything. But uh, then during college, I completely quit origami because obviously we were into architecture and uh, studies and all. Then after that, I again picked it up. And this time I was like intrigued by the you know geometrical uh, part of origami, like making these uh, these polyhedras and all. So because of uh, because of origami, I got into this subject polyhedra. And and what is polyhedra? How uh, you know what kind of solids are there? Platonic, Archimedean, and all that stuff. So it's a never-ending field, and it'll it'll branch out into so many things, into so many fields that uh, will definitely help you for if you're a, a student of design. It has to have a connection with you know even structurally also. So, but uh, let me go back to the olden times when origami was uh, it started. You know, like we all know, paper was invented in China, but still the Japanese picked up origami. They are extremely good at art and at this discipline. There's so much of discipline in this art. Only the Japanese can, you know, do it. Uh, I want to share my screen. So, yeah. Uh, can you see the screen? Uh, Gauri, I've I've gone to full screen mode, so I hope it is visible. Uh, Gauri, if you're talking, I cannot hear you. Is the full screen uh, uh, visible? Yes, it is visible and you can start with your presentation. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, yeah, so let's go back to history. 
so this is a photograph of uh, from 1797 showing japanese women making origami cranes so cranes crane i think was a was the oldest of all uh, origami uh, models that has been <laughs> i think uh, documented so see origami is like thousands of years old okay but at that time nobody knew about uh, folds and you know about the mathematics and everything it was just like an art and it was used as a it was in the culture to to you know fold uh, paper and to make these things crane we all know it's a symbol of uh, longevity so but then uh, around 100 years ago this guy came into the picture akira yoshizawa he is known as the grand master of origami 50000 plus designs are attributed to this person uh so he brought origami to the world and how did he do that he developed a language a language of visuals you know of valleys and mountain folds and a sequence of folding steps of folding so with that it became a universal language you don't need to write you know anything just by looking at the diagrams you can make the model whether it's in japanese chinese whatever so amazing uh person and he died what in 2005 so very recently almost 90 in his 90s yeah so he brought origami to the world and from then on it is now no more as uh, used as a art it is more of a you know it's a phenomena right now and so much of depth it's gone into now not just cranes and birds and planes it's, there are tessellations and there are these naturalism and the details of things just crazy and then into design so my i always ask this question in my workshop like uh, what changed from the earlier times to the current time like this is the 21st century so what changed is that we have now unfolded origami and we have uh, we have found out the you know mathematics behind uh, this art so so this is like unfolded a uh, complex vase that that i saw and then i was like shocked to find these amazing uh, symmetrical patterns and lines and so geometrical and so mathematical this art is just crazy and then these tessellations so now what we have done we have begun to control the way it folds you know if you want a certain angle we just have to make these folds at a certain angle so that's what uh, we have now got into total control of of this art uh thanks to dead people all those dead people who have been helping us to uh you know from the uh, backstage so thanks to them that uh, we are uh, that we have this art today uh, with us so this is the mura tessellation it's named after koryo mura american call it some herring bone or whatever but it's been designed by koryo mura the paper folds into the other dimension also so that's the beauty of uh, these tessellations then there's another one uh, named after yoshimura this is the yoshimura tessellation simple just uh, valleys and mountains that's all it's a game see origami is a game of mountains and valleys you just need to know where to put them and then how to use them so that is what is happening right now this design this entire intervention of uh, the origami into design is taking place and we have we are like coming up with so many amazing designs so this is an open book right now anybody can experiment with a scale with the materials with the joinery details that this is the water bomb tessellation this alternate water bomb tessellation this is a square weave pattern so everything has a blueprint that you need to follow you know a set of folds then you have mathematics in origami you need to if you have to divide a paper into three equal parts you just have to make three folds in the first square you see divide the paper into half then you go you make the smaller diagonal and the longer diagonal where they intersect that is exactly one third in both the directions whatever dimension your paper is it's amazing trisecting an angle if i give you a compass and a pencil you will not be able to trisect an angle so easily like unless you know really high five mathematics and geometry but origami see it's so simple you have to make maybe five or six folds that's it just take a screenshot of this you can try this at home It's amazing. So the angle here is A. Okay, A is the angle. Uh, P A B is the angle that you need to trisect. So just make sure E, the point E falls on Excuse the line. Excuse me, sir. 
I yeah. would like to pause. Uh, I think your presentation isn't moving while you're speaking. Oh, no. There my, yeah, so uh, we just realized this. And is it possible for you to try and share it again? Yeah. Just ah, now it is working. Wait, wait, wait. OK, now we yeah. see the slide 21. No, the problem is that uh, the full screen, you need to allow me to share the full screen, I think. Uh, yes. Are you not because, sharing the full uh, screen? It no, is right now I've escaped to the, I've come ah. back to the presentation. I okay. think that is a problem. I think that yes, because uh, you should use this PowerPoint presentation to just display because we couldn't see the slideshow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is there a way I can go to full screen and then like, see, I'm going to full screen right now and then I'm scrolling. So can you see right now? No, not at all. No, no. So yeah, the full screen is not shared. It's no. just the presentation that is. I think it's if you would like to show the full screen, we can try to go back to screen sharing. And mm. if you have already opened this uh, full screen mode, maybe you mm. go directly to that. It would yeah. share the full screen if you would like I'll do to that. try. OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So shall I share the screen again? Yes. Uh, we can see your screen right now, but it's like the PowerPoint presentation. Mm -hmm. I'm sharing again. Okay. Yeah, now can you see? Uh, one moment. Yes, we can see the full screen. And is it moving? Like to... Yes, it is moving. Okay. Okay, good, right. good, good. Yeah. Fine. So I think I've spoken a lot. I'll just uh, scroll through the uh, sheets once again. Uh, this is the photograph that I was talking about of the Japanese ladies making these beautiful cranes from 1797. And this is Akira Yoshizawa, the grandmaster of origami. Okay, and these are his drawings. His diagrams that he made, uh, it's like universal uh, diagrams that anybody can see and make these models without having to learn any Japanese or anything. There are so many books you'll find on, on his uh, on his designed origami, like 50,000 patterns and all. These are some amazing fractals and the kind of naturalism and details that you see nowadays, it's just terrific. I'll sh there are some artists that I'll just share with them. So this is the unfolded uh, origami pattern that I was talking about. I was making something and then I really had a curiosity to open it up. So I opened it and I found this uh, geometry inside, the octagonal geometry. It was quite in interesting and intriguing. So this is a Miura desolation named after Koryo Miura. It's just, again, you just have to follow the mountains and valleys. It's not very easy. But this one is slightly tough in the, in the first attempt. And this is how it folds in the other direction. So X, Y, and Y, Z, two directions, the paper will flatten. So this is flat. And in the other direction, this is it folds flat. So that is what is. And the same with Yoshimura tessellation. So it folds flat as a uh, like on the table. And then when you make these folds, it folds in the other direction. Helps to give a curve, curvature to the thing. These are some other tessellations. This is the technique I was talking about for uh, finding one third of the paper. You can try this at home. Just take a screenshot of this. Divide the paper into equal parts. We normally struggle, right? When we're folding a brochure or something or a sheet into three parts. Or we take a scale and we measure it. But th this is quite easy. Just three folds and you get the center. And you get the uh, three points. And try section. Yeah, so this is what this is a page I was at. You should try this. Take a screenshot of this and just uh, randomly make an angle, PAB, and then try to trisect that angle using origami. So this is what is mathematics behind origami. It's amazing. And now coming to the structural benefit of origami. See, if you keep a piece of paper uh, between two books having at least six inches in the middle, it, it will sag, right? You cannot, you can't even keep a pencil on it. But see how how easily just making three folds on that paper, you can keep a pencil. Right, it's now starting to take weight. 
you divide it further into eight parts, eight eight uh, divisions. Now you can keep a your teacup on it. So what is this thing giving it strength? Just simple structural uh, things, you know, that has gone behind this. So you're dividing the large sheet of paper into smaller parts, and each part is acting like a beam. So the more vertical the these beams are, the more strength you'll get. It's, it's very structural. Uh, it's very easy structural uh, concept. I follow Robert Langle a lot. He was working with NASA, and he quit NASA to come full time into origami. And this guy is just crazy. He's written so many books, and he's like completely found out the mathematics behind origami. You tell him to make a a beetle, uh, he'll make a beetle, or he'll design a beetle for you. So that's the kind of extent that he's gone into. He's just amazing. All these models are made out of single sheets of paper. You can imagine that guy playing the piano, or the scorpion, or the hummingbird, or this uh, eagle. It's all single sheets of paper. So, and the other artist that I really follow is Tomoko Fuz. She comes to Delhi uh, to the Japan Foundation many times. She's uh, these people are what you call as uh, you know modern masters so you're witnessing history you go and meet this person you would have seen a, a master you know just amazing she has come up with so many and she has uh, see the difference between robert lang and, and her is that she is more into polyhedra and all you know into modular stuff where you make 30 60 90 200 pieces and you join them to make a larger polyhedra so she has a complex uh, mind of uh, you know uh, designing the unit for this modular uh, uh, origami spirals she's a master of spirals there's so many spiraling uh, designs that you see so okay coming back to the earlier thing the cranes are still being used as uh, in ceremonies and all like thousand crane wedding ceremonies you have it was like amazing uh, because cranes, they're made for life, you know, so they they uh, they regard these cranes as auspicious. So they make thousand cranes. India may be hota hai. Many people, they make thousand cranes for marriages and all. So usse dhere dhere shift hoke, it has come to now symbolic, uh, you know, uh, ceremonial purposes. Uh, decorations ke liye hai. It's, And now it's also used as a protest. So it's, a, it's like a silent revolution. You know, instead of it's like non-violence, basically, really cool. So, coming to the subject about what is origami, still I don't want the definition. I this is another, uh, you know, beyond the the actual definition of origami. What is origami? For me, I think I put the I have divided them into three three parts. So the first one is obviously why I started. It was a creative pastime and fun. It's still fun for me. Then slowly, as life uh, went ahead, it became a stress buster. Then sometimes it became a mathematical puzzle. And I think we will be doing something at the end of the workshop, which will be like a mathematical puzzle. You'll realize that. Uh, you can reuse paper. I used to do that a lot, get magazines from here and there, you know, really good paper, and then make them, make models out of them. So I was actually reusing paper to do something really creative. And last but not the least, it's a very good spiritual exercise it's like meditation i mean if you sit to meditate you can never meditate you will be your mind will be wandering here and there but you do origami or you do any art as for that matter you know painting or anything it's like it, uh, that you know this is a true meditation because you're actually uh, subconsciously you know engrossed in this art completely so so amazing i mean you don't know where four hours have gone or eight hours have gone the benefits are that it improves concentration, your memory, patience, definitely. I can watch for that totally. Uh, one word that I missed is that uh, it improves your perfection levels. You know, it gives you an attitude because you're folding paper and it needs micro precision. There's no scope for any error. You know, deviate an inch, lose a thousand miles. It's a very nice quote that I'll always share. So a small error in the beginning can can you know magnify into a large uh, error so that wo attitude aapko deta hai. you know you start doing everything household things even with a lot of perfection 
ओके इट्स अ वेरी गुड ट्रेनिंग फॉर कॉग्नेटिव स्किल्स आई थिंक ये बहुत जरूरी है आजकल के बच्चों के लिए भी बिकॉज वी आर नॉट इन टू हैंड डन आर्ट एनी मोर यू नो सो पीपल आर नॉट पेंटिंग पीपल आर नॉट ड्रॉइंग पीपल आर नॉट फोल्डिंग पेपर और मेकिंग मॉडल्स और प्लेइंग विथ क्ले और वट एवर सो इट्स इट इम्प्रूव योर हैंड आई कॉर्डिनेशन थर्ड वन आई बी शेयरिंग विथ माई प्रेजेंटेशन but let me go to cognitive skills what are cognitive skills they are the core skills thinking learning reading remembering uh, memory aajkal nahi hai kiske paas mobile mein phone save kar lete hain number save kar lete hain it's gone whereas you do art like this you will always remember this especially this art is very good for your memory because you need to remember the folds so, so i mean the more you do the more uh, deeper it gets into your brain and you know unlocking your brain and giving you access to deeper parts of your brain for sure alzheimers is a disease in which you dif- in, it's uh, difficult in remembering you know 19 year old se shuru ho gaya aajkal to because ko yaad hi nahi rakhta hai parkinsons starting from 6 onwards nowadays you know hands are shaking the, the nervous uh, disorders you know koi kuch karta nahi haath se so it's been proven to prevent such diseases so the scot is there when you rely too much on machines we become machine like you know so we must leave certain hours of the day to uh for such art forms you know see you look at the japanese people the 100 year old people still doing origami 100% memory un- no shaking of hands they are like 60 year old people 50 year old people now the technical meaning of origami ori is folding in japanese kami is paper in japanese so origami or origami uh, to transform a flat sheet of paper into finished sculpture you know what is the rule of origami we are not supposed to use glue we are not supposed to cut the paper just square square or rectangle or sheet whatever sheet that you start from you are supposed to stick to that so that is the magic of you know so you must be wondering how do we make modular origami in which we add 30 uh, pieces together so usme there's a pocket and flap system every piece has a pocket every piece has a flap the flap of one piece gets into the pocket of the other piece and it locks so like that you lock 30 pieces and you make a polyhedra or a bucky ball or a star or whatever inexpensive hai this you don't need any special paper for this it, you can do it anywhere i remember delhi mein traffic jams hote hain so there is always lot of stress on the road you know ye chal nahi rahi gaadi chal nahi rahi so i started carrying paper with me and whenever there's a traffic jam i sit i take out the paper and i start making my units i made a, a nano tube which required 315 pieces so i made every all the 315 on the road like over a span of 10 days or something but still i proudly say that i made this on the road so my stress is gone now you know i don't care this if there's a traffic jam it's fine i have something to do with me you can do it any time like sitting in meetings you know traveling in your uh, aeroplane journeys or train journeys whatever anyone you don't have to be a specialist for this there are like if robert lang can quit nasa and join origami then i don't have to say anything <laughs> you don't require anything other than paper your hands and paper and your mind that's it this is a fun this is a amazing part about origami these are some students the bottom you have students of mine from sept geniuses uh, making carbon nanotubes there that's a 100 year old person japanese person now coming to the topic that we have all been waiting for inspiration from origami see as i uh, have got deeper into the subject i realized that every field has taken inspiration from origami so architecture especially is one of them architecture is uh, something that has really benefited from origami in two aspects one is the structural the rigidity of origami as a structural form okay so you just see how the paper model is and you convert that into rcc or steel or whatever the second aspect is taking inspiration from the foldability or the collapsibility or the space saving you know attribute of origami it saves space it folds flat so can you design something that folds flat when you don't need it and when you need it you just open it up if possible you have canopies you have bridges that allow for ships to pass by of course you need to attach some some other structural members but of course origami can help 
let me start off with tokyo residence a very small corner plot in tokyo japan everybody was making you see everywhere the boxes you know box houses but this stands out especially and very very minimalistic it reflects every face reflects light in a different way and you have a little space for for the car parking also which the other houses don't have so this is terrific i mean if you're passing by the street of course you have to stop there and look at this house so this is a amazing example of uh, origami it's known as origami house it's a tokyo house then there's one in barcelona it's known as origami house uh from the top it looks like origami models kept you know stacked together like cubes but the roof you see there's a fold in the roof so that's what gives it the origami property the you see the groove lines they are uh, going parallel to the top in rather than the bottom so that's what gives it another dimension totally so it's a nice example then there's an automobile museum it's a concert building it wasn't created uh in china it is it was still on paper they have used uh, some kind of reference from origami of course they've cut the paper but still automobile museum you know museums are are uh, some opportunities where you can really do anything creative or uh, different so see now these are i don't know what the slab is made of but it definitely can hold up these uh, automobile frameworks car car models and all what an interesting uh, thing every face is reflecting light in a different way it's like very sheet a very thin sheet of paper that is going across like a spiral you know it's going up now coming to the real deal capital gate building uh, abu dhabi this is a, a building uh, one of the i think best amazing design buildings in the world it's in abu dhabi so this it's such a complex building the plan at every floor is different because uh, it's like an organic architecture see the various uh, plans at different floors you find the core is the same the core of the building is like elliptical that is same but the whole building is moving from it is right now on the right side by the end of the 30th floor it's on the left side okay so that means the section or the elevation of the building is like this now the problem came i saw this documentary on national geographic or somewhere the problem you know it came when they had to put glass on the building on the face of the building how do you do that the plan is organic the elevation is organic how do you do that so what they did they they divided the whole building into uh, diagonals into these uh, rhombuses you can say equal sized okay it, it was like a wrap around on the building but same size every every member is same size then what they did they came to origami they they came to this particular square okay they made these the one i just showed you in the beginning they made these uh, mountain and valley folds now you see the left side image it is more or less straight the plan is also straight whereas the right side image is curved the plan is also curved but there's no difference in dimensions all the triangles are the same size right triangles are not bending lines are not bending there's no curvature at all in the paper okay but still you get different curves so this particular uh, technology was used to create the glass panels the, while the building was constructed the glass was being manufactured in you know, mass production no time wastage at all otherwise you'll have to create curves in the glass and then clad it it'll take years together and one by one these frames were uh, put into place so whether the surface of the building where you're putting is straight or whether it's teda uske accordingly the panel was formed and the glass was installed and then so origami helped to clad glass on this building so you see where uh, the building is taking a turn very acutely there my reflection jada aa raha you have lot more angles there whereas in the front face of the building where there's no turn wahan pe flatish hai thoda so it's a flexible thing you don't have to think anything it's very flexible this is a view from the inside it's magical i mean not only is it structurally it's all the problem it's also giving aesthetic appeal to the whole building you know the reflection one triangle is facing the sky one triangle facing the ground then on a very similar note there is poly international plaza in beijing designed by skidmore owens and merrill som again it's a yoshimura tessellation that they have taken up 
structurally. So each triangle here is around uh, probably two floors or something. And this is a tessellation that uh, they've again used. Very simple valleys and mountains. You see each triangle is around two floors or three floors. I don't know. Massive steel structure. So this is the design inspiration from origami. Okay. There's no movement or, or anything, but just rigid origami structural uh, benefit directly uh, translated into steel structure and then clad with simple glass. That's all. Building is standing up straight. No columns, nothing. So there are members that are in tension. There are members that are in compression. It automatically takes up the whole thing. We have softwares that you can uh, find out which members is tension and compression. Our very own uh, Hemkund Sahib. Is anybody uh, like has anybody visited Hemkund Sahib Gurudwara? It's in Uttarakhand. And it's at an amazing location. Valley of Flowers ke bhi aage hai. 14, we have to walk some 15, 16 kilometers. Very treacherous route. Now the problem that it snows there a lot in Hinkund Sahib, you know. So and Gurudwaras, see, Sikhism is a religion that's very, very practical, you know, extremely practical religion. So they came to this simple water bomb test. Ye hum banate hai, hum sabne banaya hua ye wala. Simple uh, diagonals may read uh, valleys and uh, crisscross may read mountains. And you, then you come to this uh, particular base. Ye base ko uthake unhone rakha hua hai, bas Gurudwara ke upar. Because it snows there a lot, snows will just slip down, won't collect on the top. Amazing. What a pristine location, pristine location to have an origami roof like this. Okay, so these were the structural aspects or the form, you know, more of the form uh, related origami. Coming to the, the functionality or the movement. So Al Bahar Towers in Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi mein pata hai aapko Middle East countries mein kitna dhup hota hai. So this is like a tall building. Now, of course, sun shading systems stay here pe because you're going to have the sun into your building. So they came up with this triangular tessellation, you know, this triangular water bomb. Origami se in one banaya. And it's very easy. You just make three diagonals and then other three diagonals. And one of them is valley, one of them is mountain. And then the paper folds in that way. Usko unhone clad kiya building over using a steel uh, structure. And now this every triangle, uh, parts of the building are now controlled from the inside, you know, automatically. When sun falls on them, it will close. And then when the sun moves away, it will open up using some, some kind of actuators or, you know, hydraulic uh, mechanisms. They have done this thing there. So see, now what happens, the ends of the triangles are, are, the, are at the same place. You know, they don't move. It's only the faces. It's only the surfaces that compress and open up. See this. Cool. That's how you get from the inside. So they have, see origami ka a problem hai that hum paper se karte hai, so there's no dimension. But when you start doing it with thicker materials, you know, then there's a dimension involved. So how do you make sure that it folds properly? You need to have hinges. You need to have, uh, uh, you know, these uh, pivot joints and all, all this stuff. So, and then what controls the movement? So in this case, that circle that I mark red, can you see this circle I mark red here? This is the point that moves up and down, right? So they have, they have a kind of actuator and a power controller that helps it go up and down inside the cylinder. There's a supporting cantilever uh, cylinder you can see in this video. And computer controls and this is that thing where it goes inside and and you know opens up. So it travels inside that particular cylinder. It's amazing. Now there's this Barclay Bank headquarters. Again, this is form related origami. Some kind of a form. They came up with this architect's manual uh, Gautran architects. So simple building, rectangular, but only the facade of the building is made with this. So they have an artificial facade of origami on onto this, and it culminates. So this is how you see from the floors, you know, beach beach mein aise dikhta hai. Uh, translucent material hai, sun ka thoda sa shade karega, and it culminates at the top in the form of a parapet on the top floor. So quite cool, interesting. Studio Morrison Origami Pavilion, ye dekha hoga. 
uh, many of you would have seen this this is like a wooden structure that was built and then it was clad in this uh, particular material semi translucent material residential building in oregon so from the top you see an interesting form right reflecting light in different ways so they have used origami some kind of simple force to make the building interesting yeah this is a uh, festival hall of the terror excuse me for the spelling there earl australia so what an amazing uh, uh, minimalism is there in the building facets there are just four five facets you see from any, from any angle and the inside is just stunning you have a very stunning uh, uh, interior also inspired by origami by these facets so this is an extremely good example of uh, origami inspired building you have tel aviv museum of art i am sure you would have seen this this also was a competition they won the first prize it's amazing see the good thing about origami is you have so many faces that you can play with and each face reflects light in a different way so your building already starts looking like a modern you know piece of art like a sculpture and uh, i'm sure these people must be that their design process would be like playing with paper in the beginning and then coming up with ideas and because you can't be starting to design this on paper you know with a pen and pencil just like that you need to do more of hands on activities for such buildings or for such designs it's terrific nestle chocolate museum extremely uh, interesting snake like uh, structure you know it's different from the boring uh, usual rectangular things so many faces you have and then it's like walking down a portal through a through a portal frame or through a snake you can say and then as you travel you have different uh, ways light comes into the building and you know things like that that's elevation that is a plan and that is one of the corridors that you can see inside so interesting i mean really can help you come up with uh, these kind of designs There, this chapel for uh, deaconess is this is in sujal this is pure origami the structural aspect of origami you know form to theek hai but they are not translated the form into rcg or anything it's pure wooden structure standing because of the strength of origami itself look at this interiors also you have these faces facets and this is how it was being constructed i think wooden framework with uh, faces plates that uh, make it so interesting to look at and ref ref uh, reflecting light it's like a modern day chapel and like i said now the detailing has to be very crucial for this because you have mountain and, and then you have valley so what is at the top will come at the bottom also so you need to be ready for detailing out these buildings this is an another interesting uh, building by santiago calatrava one of the masters master builders so he has used directly from mura tessellation this is a mura tessellation and uh, it's translated this into huge massive uh, terminal scale this guy plays with scale so kuch kehne ka koi nahi static hai this is more of a static form helios house you want to imagine what this is this is a gas station so what this shows that even if you're doing a small project you know it doesn't matter you can throw in a little bit of your creative juices it's not that ki petrol pump banana hai to dabba hi banana hai ya fir columns pe khada hona hai you can do something creative there so just imagine just amazing this is a work of art this is a sculpture i i don't call this a structure i call this a sculpture cladding jis tarike se kiya hai and the way it's reflecting light in different ways and it is it is actually dekha jaye it is not tough you just need to clad your building in a structural steel framework or something and then you clad that framework in your choice of material you know acp is there aluminum composite panels are there you have cement sheets you have uh, fiber reinforced polymers and what not photogenic i mean take the photograph of this building in any way and you will get a creative award winning photograph 
It's amazing. Look at again. Look at this. So, its special features. They go canopy light using up twenty percent less energy. I got this from the internet. LED lighting here, pura. So it's using low amount of energy. Roof contains ninety solar panels. Photo cells are there. It's made of recyclable stainless steel. A bathroom sinks are made of recycled aluminium shavings. There are motion sensors. Walls are made from farm wood, rapidly renewing bamboo. Floor tiles are made from recycled. It's completely a green structure. We should have these in India also, I think. Now, origami inspired structures. I think uh, the Bahai House of Worship, the Lotus Temple in Delhi, is a good example of uh, curved origami uh, sheet structure and the kind of uh, symmetry there is there also. It also you know uh, reflects origami. Me me me, both both origami uh, symmetry milega apko. So this is there. This is a kiosk in at London that opens and closes using the accordion. Uh, tessellation. So quite an interesting um, way. So when it it's open, it's like this. When it closes, it's like this. You just pull it down. So origami ka folding itself is helping you to close it. These are some random buildings. See how you can use it in facade systems. You know. Now it's up to you how do you control this. Uh, either it's in the facade. This is now a project in China, embedded project. Actually, me unhone origami jaise bana diya building. Paper. It gives a feel of paper. This is another unknown building. I have, I don't know. I just found this on the net. I would suppose that this was a rectangular, uh, boring building, but because of these cladding on the sides, it's completely changed the entire dimension of this building. How it's become make, made it so interesting. So either you clad it on the facade, you you clad columns with it. In Terminal Three Airport, Delhi Airport, me you have these columns that are anti-prism. You know, niche. It will be a square. Upper jagi will become a rhombus, so it completely changes its form. And there's no curvature or anything. Just origami, uh, it's clad in Dupont Corian. So such kind of thing. Dupont Corian is a material that is so flexible. No joints, no seams, nothing. You can use that to clad uh, columns, facades. You know how you make the building more interesting. How you make a rectangular box building more interesting, rather. This is a concept building again. I don't think it is it exists. This is a small uh, public toilet that I was doing at a, a good go. Excuse me for this. Uh, so I thought, we, why make a box? Why don't we do something with the front of the building? Client didn't allow too much, but still, I convinced him at least building a facade. Me, to kuch kar sakte. You can have facets that can make it more interesting. And uh, the brief was strict. They wanted separate entrances for the male and for the females. So very simple uh, granite cladding with these white spaces. Uh, I have proposed coats on cleanliness and things like that. You know? So this is during construction. I don't. Uh, I am yet to download the photographs for this. Coming to furniture design, uh, you see this is the, this is a dodeca pattern origami. Dodecahedron, and this is what is the furniture that has been inspired by by polyhedra. Dodecahedrons, then you have icosahedron inspired furnitures. See how a fold can make that simple design more in, most more interesting. Folding is something that uh, it it should come naturally, I think, or probably you should experiment a lot with folding. You know, faces, facets. See this chair now. It, it has got a fold. When you close it, you can still sit on it as a little higher stool. But when you open it, you have a nice couch there. The second one is like a. It opens up from a table to a nice uh, soft chair, lounge chair. Then you have certain signboards, and you have, you can play a lot with roofing, in uh, internal ceilings. This this is a ceiling in uh, Shimla that I saw in a hotel. Then you have these partition systems. I think uh, looking at uh, so many faces, different uh, reflecting lights in different 
angles and different uh, intensities is very pleasing i think you know and it, it automatically becomes like an abstract uh, art in itself simple rcc thing coming down from the ceiling and then coming to the floor how nicely it's been done this is an rcc bench that i designed in gurgaon so i again had these i chamfered two opposite uh, two alternate edges of this cuboid so i got these two faces you know it seemed like it's floating in floating or it's won't balance but it's nicely balanced structurally there yeah this is a opportunity i was doing signages for uh, rajdeval in calcutta for one of his projects coal india projects so during the course of that project uh, coal india approached me and they told me that they want to make an inauguration pedestal so they wanted to hide this rcc box in the bottom isme kuch aur tha pehle they had a base but they they broke it but they could not break this rcc base there so they told me could you hide this base for us and at the same time make a pedestal so i said yeah but i told them i want freedom so they said yeah you can have it so i got inspired by this particular uh, model origami model this is a stellated uh, octahedron and i like the way it you know the subtle uh, folds you know valley a mountain then a valley so i got inspired by this and i designed something i didn't have my laptop at the time so i designed something on paper and uh, immediately uh, we left the signage work and we started doing this thing or uh, probably this was the end of the project so yeah we were able to do it uh, properly so we were planning even these people who were doing the work they didn't know ki ban kya rahe they said ki ek aap kuch galti to nahi kar rahe said nahi nahi karte ro karte ro so wahi pe paper pe hi dimensions because see we should like i told you know we should not rely too much on machines supposing you are stuck in a desert without a laptop without your phone and you, they ask you to design something how do you, then you, you know your mathematics your your geometry your dimensioning everything should be uh, you know precise so i calculated everything and then we were planning sometimes uh, site pe rakh ke on the spot markings karne padte the but we did it and then the end result was this. so this is the back side of the structure where you have this logo of coal india and on the front side we did uh, inauguration plaque so some politicians were inaugurating it but it came out pretty nice and it was very tough because every stone edge has uh, been chamfered so you, you don't see the stone thickness very very difficult work but it came out extremely as i had planned then i went back home and i made the drawing for them and i sent back so this is how it turned out so see that that problem of that hiding that base it became like a boon right वो नहीं होता तो मैं सिर्फ करता ही नहीं हो सकता डब्बा और गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग योर क्रिएटिविटी ये एम एस एम ई हरियाणा का ये रिसेंटली एक प्रोजेक्ट किया था मैंने सो देर ऑफिस इन साइड so i saw this plane origami plane i said fantastic opportunity uh, uh pakdo origami ko so i designed something using these same colors uh in a triangular tessellation and then playing around with the planes and you know their internal signages facility signages or their uh, office signages itself i played around with faces with i took the same colors but i played around with face sets of them as if light is reflecting in different direction you know lots of designs and then uh, when we installed it this is how it came so this is printed on ac acrylic directly by a process known as flat bed printing so we use frosted acrylic in which it's like very subtle uh, see through you can see the light source so it doesn't uh, it's like not completely trans transparent this is the doors where i designed that their films this is the main office so came out pretty nice i mean it was instant uh, thing without thinking too much kabhi kabhi you are at a project for months together and you don't get something sometimes you do it in a jiffy you know baithe baithe side mein raste mein and you you can do so much with that isse pehle kolkata kolkata calcutta wala jo hai i i thought about that idea in a restaurant while eating food i drew that on a uh, 
पेपर नैपकिन आई स्टिल हैविड विथ मी सो वो हो जाता है कभी कभी ओके नाउ दिस इज अ वर्क फ्रॉम माई स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम सेप्ट यूनिवर्सिटी deployable structures where uh, we rely on these two origami tessellation and scissor mechanism so mura tessellation like i told you no paper mein zero thickness hai but when you do it with ply or something you, you you have thicknesses you need to be careful the kind of hinges that you put and the location of the hinges that you put have to be very careful now you see the bottom right corner where it is this is zero thickness but this is volume so it will not bend right so you need to add another uh, You see number three here, volume trim with double line. So you need to add another dimension there, so it allows for it to turn. So ये सब आपको करने पड़ेंगे when you are uh, translating origami into actual uh, materials. You know? So this is one of the st structures that was designed by somebody. Quite interesting in uh, architectural spaces that they were getting, and at the same time it would fold flat. ये फ्लैट फोल्ड हो जाता है तो यूजिंग हाइड्रोलिक्स और सम काइंड ऑफ मैकेनिज्म वी कुड फोल्ड दिस फ्लैट एंड कुड सेव स्पेस दिस इज अनदर वन पेपर मॉडल है उसको उसमें स्टील में डाला है वो करके सो दिस वुड बी लाइक अ कार पार्किंग और समथिंग नीचे व्हील्स डाल सकते हैं सो यू कैन जस्ट पुल इट अप टू पीपल कैन पुल इट एंड इट कुड कवर योर होल व्हीकल इस पे फैब्रिक आएगा ऊपर दिस इज अगेन लाइक एन अकॉर्डियन फोल्ड किसी ने प्ले किया इसके साथ and uh, this is the detailing that they did the joinery details kinchit ka kaam hai very very interesting uh, in design he made a video of this which i don't have right now this is done by tanya uh, this is a water bomb tessellation so when it flat it's like this and it gradually opens up flat so this is how it uh, folds up yeah wheels hain so one of the columns can be fixed the other three columns could just move freely moving we use tad a uh, software that helps in uh, uh telling you what size members you need you know because when you're designing something you're always we don't know ki uh do we use the 40 by 60 ka member 20 by 30 so stat tells you that it'll tell you where it, where you're failing where you are where you're over designed you know so perfectly isme load dalna hai bas aapko this is by another student devarsh uh yoshimura tessellation use karke usne ye banaya structure pura it can expand factor of expansion is 45 times four times sorry four times so ye sab hai then coming to product design parachute mein origami is used extensively you cannot just fold it in any way you like this is a tent designed by uh, david shats it's called melina tent you can carry it very lightweight and when you want to rest you just open it up deploy it just get into it you're safe this is some concept ideas designed by united nations for disaster management yeah this is very much like that roof of that building in lisbon portugal this is a interesting kinetic table uh, designed by some mr kim korean i think uh, this concept was taken by uh, yami yamauchi's uh, fireworks and he's taken it and translated it into a table you put the glass in any way you like stands up so you have three different ways you can use this table so it's not monotonous anymore lamps endless uh, possibilities are there endless materials are there you don't have to think this is a paper simple paper that helps you a uh, few folds and you get a lamp add a light this lamp i made at nid during my course there so nice uh, it's one of it's like the building right this is a lamp that i uh create and i i have it on a website for sale it's in a very good material that is waterproof and fireproof at the same time so you have a light inside and then it helps to reflect light in different ways this is a tessellation that i used alternate water bomb tessellation see by just adding folds in faces how interesting things can become a sink look at the sink वैसे तो फ्लैट है दिस इज कोरियन आई थिंक दिस इज डूपॉन्ट कोरियन फ्लैट लिया होगा बेंड किया होगा एंड यू है सच ए फ्यूचरिस्टिक यू नो और गेम इज फ्यूचर ज्वेलरी डिजाइन करते हैं कई लोग माई कजन सिस्टर डज मिनी श्योर और गेमी लॉर्ड ऑफ पेशेंस फॉर दिस देर अ स्टेंट to open up blockages it goes inside your uh, arteries and it just opens up because of the origami tessellation the same tessellation that i used in my lamp 30 mm so at such a micro scale you have 
uh, origami helping you with you know some in the medical research and medical field and then coming from micro to macro scale now this is a tessellation that was developed by i think robert lang to make uh, to compress a complete solar panel because solar panels are something that to send it up into space it's like tough right so you compress it like this and it goes up in, in tiny spaceship opens up 50 times its size and then it's amazing i think amazingly uh, utilized you can make this model at home and see it's quite interesting this is an hourglass telescope by robert lang again so see from what size it comes to what size you can send that into space and then it opens up like this this is by by hoberman chuck hoberman another architect from us who works a lot on these kind of uh, crazy mechanisms and origami you know inspired things its ka olympic stadium ka gateway dekhna it's, it's quite interesting future systems has designed this thing uh, a kind of a shelter disaster management mein kaam aa sakta you can air drop it you can uh, take it in a truck you know and it just needs 30 30 people uh, sorry 30 minutes 12 people to deploy this amazing umbrellas i think are a fantastic example of origami right from the from the day it was designed any umbrella you know now this is the giant umbrellas of medina huge massive 25 by 25 meters 15 meters high it's a it collects rain water it is a light source it's a source of fan and it automatically closes and opens you know with the light it's a deadly work of art this one massive scale then now coming to disaster management or disaster uh, things these kind of uh, structures are being designed that can transportability is an op- is another criteria you know taking these structures to places and then just opening them up you can live there for a couple of days in the where there's a disaster or something earthquake flood relief or anything so yoshimura is one of the tessellation that is extremely u- widely used in any kind of design ye cardboard origami karke ek hai they are using cardboard to make shelters like these at least you have a roof over your head and it's why does it stand because of the origami folding aap isko curve curve karte box banate it would not have uh, withstood the you know the load self load hi utna jyada hai uska self weight hi itna jyada hai so only origami can help you very easily to uh, generate such uh, shelters without any structural framework or anything so ye future nahi to aur kya hai and the see look at the amazing thing see origami is future but origami has come from the past right thousands of years old technology is being used today right now for for the future for solving our future problems you know every i think hum log beech mein bhatak gaye hain sab log but uh, these all these uh, old technologies that people have uh, have thought about in the earlier times they are actually not uh, useless you know they are the only things that are that are coming back right now to us to help the problems to help solve our problems right now packaging let me go very quickly now because uh, packaging and all would be something really specific paper ka lifafa to sabne dekha hoga theek hai 2d nikalta hai wo paper ka lifafa andar se aur usko wo andar hat dal ke usko 3d bana deta hai usme iska matlab usme ek valley and mountain fold ka game hai so that is the best example that you could have and then you could go for more of these creative uh, things like if you want to courier a glass bottle or a fragile object this tessellation helps you it from the bottle to touch the sides of the packaging so ye sab cheeze hain kafi packaging mein without using glue how can you make a package you know that these are some challenges see now this one chocolate ek pin dal diya beech mein wo toothpick dal diya no glue used pillow pack is there very good example and then this tessellation was there same building mein bhi use ho raha hai yahan bhi use ho raha hai ye bhi सिलेंडर के बजाय ये ऐसा करो मेक्स इट मोर इंटरेस्टिंग सो अगेन योशी मोरा इज कमिंग टू द थिंग सो योशी मोरा इज समथिंग दैट इज रियली अमेजिंग सम ओरिगेमी इंस्टॉलेशन दैट आई हैव बीन डूइंग विद माय स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम वी डिड एट एनआईडी 
सेवेंटीन आई थिंक थाउजेंड पीसेस से वी मेड एन इंस्टॉलेशन एंड मोरलेस स्क्वायर इंस्टॉलेशन यूजिंग द फिज यूनिट एंड वी पुट इट अप ऑन द सीलिंग and then the students they did projection mapping on it so it was really fun i mean the projector from the bottom and uh, the graphics on the top ceiling glowing suddenly in the middle of the you know corridor dark corridor this graphic is moving so it was really stunning then again 2019 mein we did uh, another installation this time 2000 pieces uh this is a very simple uh, which one you call it? it's a sonob unit yeah sonob unit which With which we make polyhedras because we use five use. Karte. So we six use. Kiya toh flat ho gaya, like a honeycomb pattern, you know. Planning the whole thing on the computer. कहाँ पे लगाना है क्या height होगा, and then now the problem was self weight. इतना ज़्यादा बढ़ गया था इसका. You have two uh, thousand sheets of paper that is almost one foot by one foot. So weight इतना बढ़ गया that we need to that we had to. uh reinforce it from certain places but then it, it and we hung it it hung there for 9 months or something like that it was amazing so something exciting i mean made out of hand you know group work a team work it's really amazing and then on the other side when the light is off you see this light uh, filtering through these uh, little holes like stunning graphic in itself is pe bhi projection mapping kuch kiya tha in logon ne some uh dinosaurs running around in the nid campus or something like that nice one so when we did it set uh uh 2000 when was 2019 in december so we did some this was the last offline workshop very nostalgic you know so isme we use we use recycled paper all the sheets of paper are from submissions of students who have been working इन द प्रीवियस ईयर सो वो फेंक देते हैं उसका जूरी खत्म हो गया फेंक दिया शीट वो हमने निकाला उसमें से एक स्क्वायर काटे हमने ट्वेल्व बाई ट्वेल्व के एंड देन वी हैड दिस ब्राउन पेपर्स ऑल्सो एंड देन वी पुट दिस फ्लावर्स एट सर्टन प्लेसेस एंड देन रात को बैठ कॉन्वोकेशन के एक दिन रात को बैठ के हमने लगाया इंटेंडेड टू यूज दिस फॉर द कॉन्वोकेशन बट समाउ दिस सेट कर लेते हैं इंटरेस्टिंग बैकड्रॉप सो जस्ट आउट ऑफ वेस्ट यू नो जीरो आउट ऑफ नथिंग और सॉरी समथिंग आउट ऑफ नथिंग so this is what uh, this is it but uh, let me quickly go through types of origami i have divided them into five parts living origami we all know and i think i'll speed up living origami is the usual origami that we all do every model is different you need a lot of memory to remember each of these models snake uh, camels kutta uh, vases are there roses shells flowers everything then there's something called wet folding which i have not tried yet i've left it for my later years you moist the paper and there's a particular paper that you have to get for this you know and then when when it dries up it stays stiff so when it's moist you need to make your little uh sculpting uh, business karna padega isme thoda sa but it's awesome it's amazing then you have action origami which is really fun uh, models that move al- as you uh, you know do some do these actions with the thing it's very very interesting bahut sare hain isme uh then you have tessellations so i always ask what are tessellation tessellations are geometric shapes with no overlaps and gaps mc escher is a god of tessellation we all know if you don't know you must check out his books mc escher see so patterns with no gaps and overlaps so the bird is not overlapping on the fish and there's no gap also but the way it is stunningly fitting into each other it's amazing that's his museum in netherlands so origami tessellations are also similar you have a water bomb base that will re- that would repeat itself multiple times you know like this like this so you have flat tessellations you have 3d tessellations this is a water bomb tessellation this water bomb tessellation this is a uh, the yoshimura tessellation So basically, uh, you have to take one sheet of paper and you have to work on it for like three hours, and you get this. Then you have something called fractal. Do you know what are fractals? Fractals are again repetitive geometrical elements, but this time the repetition would be scaling up or scaling down, and that scaling down would be based on a certain algorithm. Okay, for example, the golden ratio. 
1 is to 1.618 like this one so this is a golden ratio one there's a particular curve here that is going on repeating but it's growing at the same time scaling up so this is what is called a fractal this is a rock rose five times this is galaxy one and two sunflower they all follow the fibonacci series which is another subject so see now because of origami i have delved into geometry in nature and the fibonacci series and the golden thing so kya karte karte kahan pahunch sakte ho aap you just need to be curious this is a golden ratio how you create it you make a square and from the midpoint you just bring it down to the bottom and then you get 1.618 so this is in nature this golden ratio you'll find it in nature you'll find it in many logos that are being used worldwide fibonacci series ke circles aap banao and you play around with the circles you'll get an interesting pleasing more like the rectangle of the national geographic is very pleasing to look at the proportion you know it's one is to 1.618 not a random rectangle so ye proportions bahut matter karte hain important logos they use this thing important people they use the golden ratio and they use, and then they lose elections this is our origami fractal out of single sheet of paper it's more tougher it's tougher than the tessellation it's very tough you need to have lot of patience but if you do a 3 or 4 you'll change your uh, perfection level and your uh, patience level would change you know drastically this is made out of single sheet of paper it's hard to believe this is the shuzo fujimoto flower fractal or the hydrangea as many people call it so again yeah now the last aspect of origami that hum log workshop mein karenge uh, the puzzle solving like i told you no is uh, the polyhedra so what is a polyhedra so see again because of origami i'm i'm teaching polyhedra in various institutes right now i never knew nobody knew what is polyhedra so a polygon is a flat shape with 2d uh, with n number of sides a polyhedra is a 3d solid with n number of faces that's it it could be anything irregular or regular usually we, re we refer to regular polyhedra which are like these what you see on the screen here uh, let me go quickly a platonic solids archimedean kepler poinsot johnson prisms and antiprism so platonic are these five i think let me just skip this entire topic because it's uh, quite like going into another direction you know snubbing and expansion by truncation rectification archimedean archimedean solids these are johnson solids yeah so this is one particular kepler points out solid in which the second one you see this is very interesting to make using origami and you can make all the archimedean you can make all these archimedean solids using origami uh, without using glue just by pocket and flap system because the magic of all these solids is that every every edge is the same size throughout the polyhedra you take the this one the small rhombic cuboctahedron this size would be the same as this size so that means the unit of origami that we are taking is the same it just needs to be attached in a certain way so similarly for this one the great slated dodecahedron all the sizes are the same so it's a similar uh, looking thing what are bucky balls i usually ask this in my presentation bucky balls are uh, it was a uh, named after buckminster fuller the designer of the geodesic dome so again now chemistry is there you know after physics and after all this now we have chemistry you have carbon structures that you can make uh, using origami so you have this carbon molecular structure c60 c80 c120 c240 your carbon nanotubes endless amount of uh, these carbon structures that you can make using origami now this is a for example c60 it uses up 90 pieces that is a c140 210 pieces this is silvi making c180 is 270 modules but be very careful concentration level वैसे बढ़ जाता है बनाते बनाते some polyhedra inspired, inspired designs uh, i don't know if i should go into this topic or not let me skip quickly using but it's quite interesting how you can uh, you know how the faces they 
deal with light uh, differently and how you can make sculptures at the same time that are uh, buildings you know rather than boxes we have to think uh in the future like how buildings would come up in the future you know minimalism the origami is minimalism and minimalism is a movement that is very futuristic so i would say that uh, now this is what this is a fusion between some nice patterns you know complex patterns and with uh, modern science and the, the polyhedras so that's it for the presentation now i think uh, i would we would quickly uh, since this is a workshop i think let's quickly make something interesting uh let's make a dodecahedron so it's i think the units are very very easy to make and uh, assembly is uh, okay it's not very tough but i have a video for that so i'll share the video also with you guys you can just take a look at the video and also make it but let's start with uh, a few models hi sir hi gauri uh i would like to ask you if it would be possible are you going to uh, make the models live also for our attendees yeah we can make it live i have paper with me here so i think it would be can... very interesting Yeah, yeah what we can do is we can start making these uh, these units okay and then okay. we can start assembling them so this is what i plan to make you know this is a dodecahedron okay That's so great. it's a it's one of the platonic solids and it's one of the most interesting platonic solids so and uh, it's may like if i just pull out a unit for you so this is okay. this is a the unit is one is to four size but if i unfold the unit i get a square okay right so okay. yeah a square unit say fold karke how by just attaching you can make this solid it's pretty rigid mm -hmm. so okay. i think we can do this right now in the workshop okay thank you yes uh, would we like to have the questions uh, if there are any questions right now uh, so far there are no questions so maybe you can go okay. ahead with the workshop and then we can see later on if there are any questions i would fine, go fine, back fine. to you Okay. Okay. Great. So, uh, I don't know uh, whether you guys are ready with the paper, but you could take this particular six inch by six inch, or there's no size restriction, four inches by four inches, five by five, six by six, anything. And uh, we need thirty of these. ये बनाने के लिए thirty pieces चाहिए. So, एक sheet ले लीजिए. Just take one sheet. Okay. and uh, i have the instruction on the video also i'll be sharing the video with you guys also so the first fold that you make is a center fold right it's a valley fold and then after that on the two sides you make mountain folds so you fold it in the opposite direction like this very accurately it has to be done so now your sheet which is flat like this has now turned into like something like a m right and it's like very accurately done so you need to be very precise with origami this is one thing that it has taught me right now after that at randomly you hold it in any way you like any manner you like and you take the bottom left corner of of your unit okay this bottom so here i have three all of them you take it and you make a little diagonal fold like this so you see this diagonal here right let me mark it with a pencil for you to understand better
Yeah. So this is my strip, which is one is to four proportion because of the four fold. You take this uh, bottom left corner. You have to be very careful with the bottom left. Don't take bottom right or don't take the top right. Just be bottom left. And you take all these sheets together. Like you'll find a a, a bunch of sheets here. Three, four will be. Sab ko leke you need to fold it like this. Okay. Now the next step is you take the top left, the top right. Sorry, bottom left. Leya. Up top right. Leya. Right. Top right. Leke fold it down. so you get these two opposite sides now okay i'll start again from the beginning i took a square sheet of paper okay i made a fold in the center like this then these two flaps i folded them outwards so this fold what folded like this this called folded like this then you hold the paper in any direction you want aise 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 kaise bhi pakad lo it doesn't matter and you take the bottom left you fold it you take the top right you fold it okay now we need a fold uh, between this point and and between this point so ye thoda sa tricky hai because isme perfection thoda chale jata hai you have to fold it like this make sure ki wo aage nahi nikal raha hai fold it's best to do it on the table and the thing is that we are folding four sheets of paper at the same time so you need to press it to make the fold very crease very crisp so you have three uh, you have three valley folds on this that are continuous first fold second fold and the third fold right इसका एक स्क्रीनशॉट लेना है तो आप ले सकते हो क्योंकि ठीक है नाउ अ क्वेश्चन फॉर यू गाइस ऑफ कोर्स आई नॉट गेट द आंसर फ्रॉम यू बिकॉज़ इट्स इट्स नॉट इंटरेक्टिव थिंग ऑन एवरी फेस यू सी पेंटेगन राइट ना पेंटेगन का इंटरनल एंगल क्या होता है वॉट इज एन इंटरनल एंगल ऑफ अ पेंटेगन दिस एंगल it's not 90 degrees of course it's not 72 degrees it's not 120 degrees it's 108 degrees this is 108 degrees this internal angle of a pentagon right now look at the magic of mathematics this unit that we just made this this angle is one is 108 degrees it's close to 108 maybe a, a little less but it's 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 108 degrees so this is what this is magic of origami so like this we go, ultimately we have to make uh, 30 pieces right now you can make probably 6 or 5 so that we can uh, assemble them now the another thing is that uh this is an icosahedral symmetry solid so at the vertex you will find that there are three units meeting so one then there's two and then there's three so these three are meeting at this vertex right so wo aapas mein join karne hai aap mein so let's at least make three uh three units in the beginning repetition bahut hai origami mean, it's like there's lot of repetitive uh, things i think that's what gives you patience endlessly you make uh, keep on making it making it making it i re- i recently did a workshop uh, and i called it uh, origami mantra you know it's like it's like the repeating mantras एंड ये तो ये तो छोटा है जिसमें सिर्फ थर्टी पीसेस है 
थ्री सिक्सटी पीसेस फाइव हंड्रेड पीसेस एंड ऑल सो वो उसमें इट्स लाइक यू नो जिस एंडलेसली मेकिंग इट मेकिंग मेकिंग इट I hope you guys are uh, attempting it. That's my second piece. This is my first piece. So just stack, just keep stacking them so that you don't make any mistakes. Okay. And third, I'm going to make a movie. It can never bore you. Origami can never bore you. And the best part is that at the end of something, you you have something uh, 3D to hold, you know, in your hand. Like this is a great stellated uh, Toyota Hatron. You have something to hold, or an Icos Hatron, or or yeah, this is one of the another uh, Icos Hatron symmetry things. Quite interesting. We everybody should have a hobby. Everybody should have a hobby that uh, Hi, is a little, is a little away from your or a little different from your from your design field. Hello, sir. Ah, so, sorry, Gauri. Ha ha. Yeah, I just wanted I just to uh, tell you that. I uh, that I've got a response that people are attending and engaging with this model that you are making. So okay, okay, so. okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a one-way conversation here. No, no, it's good. Thank you. I have made three pieces. Okay, I'll wait for everybody to at least make three pieces. Let's wait for a minute or something, or maybe two three minutes, and then we'll assemble these three at least. If three ko ap assemble karna sik jaoge, then I think the rest of the things similar, and automatically hoga wo. Matlab you don't have to do it. Angles is iske unit ke angle hi aise hai ki that it will automatically form this and it'll close. The whole ball will close like this. So imagine a building like this, just kept on the ground, so like a massive building with the entrance here, you know? and the human height is just a little, just a little bit. How you can take this forward, and then you start augmenting the faces. Maybe you start increase, uh, taking this away, making it taller, or something like that. You start transforming these polyhedra. These are basic uh, models that are found in nature, you know. Platonic. You will be surprised to know the HIV virus is exactly the same. It's an icosahedron. It's quite. Uh, and uh, Plato has said that uh, our universe is contained within the dodecahedron. We don't know what is the extent of the universe. So he says that it's a dodecahedron at the end. So this is. Geometry in nature. So this is how it looks like. Uh, about fourteen or fifteen units. So when you start, uh, it's amazing.
ओरिगेमी मॉडल्स में बोलते हैं कि वॉट एवर नीडेड वॉट एवर है वेरी लेस रिमेनिंग पीपल यू कैन जस्ट मॉडिफाइ थिंग्स मॉडिफाई फोल्स एंड मेक योर ओन डिजाइन बट एट दिस स्टेज देर सो मेनी पीपल इटालियंस अमेरिकन और डूइंग ओरिगेमी और कमिंग अप विथ सो मेनी मॉडल्स Everybody's done with three pieces. I think they could have been I done hope. with it. <laughs> I hope so. so. Yes. Okay. Now let's start assembling them. So, ये तीन अगर आप unit assemble कर सकते हो, then I think you can get the hang of it. So, you take a unit. Okay. You take a unit, and then. these these two triangles you see at the ends of the unit so these are going to be the flaps okay that will disappear into the pockets ye jo center mein jo aa raha hai uh, the center crease okay this is going to be the pocket isme pocket ek side se yahan se jayega aur dusra pocket yahan se jayega iske upar se okay so you uh, hold your unit like this and we have to put the uh, other unit on the right side so on this on this vertex okay so you take this unit and you open up the i hope you can see yahan pe bhi ek flap hai yahan pe bhi flap hai right ye flat up ye flat unit hai so yahan se aap open kijiye one of the flaps okay koi bhi flap chalega you insert this triangle Okay, inside that flap, and and uh, you let it go all the way. It will go and turn. It will go and turn inside. It will go and turn inside like this, and will sit nicely in that crease there. Okay, and it won't come out. See. So, वो जो triangle था वो ऊपर आ गया. You know, somewhere here. यहाँ पे है. एंड राइट साइड पे इस वर्टेक्स पे हम हम देखो दोनों का वर्टेक्स अभी सिमिलर हो गया यहाँ पे राइट नाउ यू रोटेट दिस यूनिट एंड एंड नाउ यू एज्यूम दैट दिस इज द फर्स्ट यूनिट इसमें अगेन यू रिपीट सो यहाँ पे नीचे वाले पॉकेट को आप निकालिए यहाँ पे पॉकेट होगा ऐसे राइट एंड यू पुट द थर्ड यूनिट फ्रॉम बिलो दिस Okay, and you push it all the way through. Push it all the way through so that it comes and sits there. So now you you have three units at this vertex. It's not very neat right now, but अभी आपको क्या करना है पहला and तीसरे को भी lock करना है. ये पहले का triangle है और ये तीसरा है. पहले एंड तीसरे को भी यू हैव टू ओपन अप दिस थिंग एंड यू हैव टू पुट इट इनसाइड दैट थिंग एंड इट विल गो इनसाइड लाइक दिस नाउ इट्स रियली लॉक नाइसली फ्रॉम द बैक साइड यू सी दिस सो दिस हैज गॉन इनसाइड दिस वन दिस हैज गॉन इनसाइड दिस वन एंड दिस हैज गॉन इनसाइड दिस वन ऑल द थ्री हैव गॉन इन टू ईच अदर each other's pocket this is what is on the outside so now this is the vertex of the dodecahedron of one side and this is the pentagon that is going to get formed right ye teen agar aapka ho gaya to niklega nahi now you take any now you have three ends so you start off with any vertex okay to aise lena hai aapko usme you put a like i'm using this pink color okay and teesre ke liye ab isme is off white mein pink ya pink ke andar hum blue dalte hain pink ke andar blue chala gaya और ब्लू uh, के अंदर पहला वाला डालना है 
तो ब्लू का पॉकेट खोलना पड़ेगा दोनों के बीच में यू एफ थ्री राइट सो यू एफ वन यू एफ टू यू एफ थ्री नाउ लेट्स मेक अनदर वन एंड अनदर वन लाइक दिस सो पेंटेगन विल गेट फॉर्म यू नो सो हम एक यूनिट ऐसे यही आपको बस यूनिट टू कीप ऑन रिपीटिंग थर्टी पीसेस लाइक दिस ऑल ऑफ देम विल अल्टीमेटली क्लोज दिस पॉली एड्रा एक इधर आ गया ये पजल है जो मैं आपको पहले बता रहा था ना मैथमेटिकल पजल है ये so the, this is challenge can you make this and finally this would go inside this so blue would go inside this now see it's coming up so you need to have really crafty hands with this bahut patience chahiye isme mera video i'll share it with you uh nature you find origami you see these large palm leaves that uh, span so, so much ek 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 de de meter ke hote hain leaves so how do they stay stiff like that because of the accordion fold in them you have insects that uh, with wings so the wings are folded and kept inside you know with, with the folding folding hai uske andar except one uh, uh, bichara insect the dragon fly which cannot fold its wings hamesha khula hi rehta hai okay i was i could manage to make the entire pentagon with five with five of them can you see this but every vertex mein ek ek hona chahiye to tabhi wo thoda rigid hoga like isme se ye nikal raha hai isme se ye nikal raha hai isme se bhi nikalna chahiye isme se bhi nikalna chahiye isme se bhi to tabhi wo rigid hoga don't try to make a pentagon first ट्राई मेकिंग ये तीन तीन वाला तीन तीन वाला वर्टेक्स जैसे ये वर्टेक्स है फिर नेक्स्ट वर्टेक्स ये है तीन इसमें भी तीन है देखो फिर यहाँ पे दो है यहाँ पे तीसरा डालना पड़ेगा वो भी डालना सो आई थिंक ऐसे करते करते यू विल बी एबल टू मेक दिस एंटायर पॉली हेड्रा सो दिस इज वन यूनिट दैट हेल्प यू मेक this node hydrogen there's a separate unit for this there's a separate unit for the stellated ones every uh, like every solid has different i think you got the video right i made this for nsc for national science uh, museum In... Okay, so we will share this uh, live. You want to share it live, or you can just send it to them so that they can uh, use it later. Because this entire model is going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a few hours, I think. Ah, okay, okay. So sure. let them let them make it, it later. We will share it later then. Yes. Uh, okay. Perfect. I think let them do it at their own. Uh, yes. Time. That's good. Because thirty units to make, and then assembly will take time. So Okay 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 so 
I think it was a really good workshop. Yeah, it was more like a more of a presentation than a workshop. I hope people were following it and uh, trying out the model at home. I hope so too. <laughs> yes, for sure. And uh, maybe I can ask you one question. Ha. Huh. Like uh, I would like to ask, like how has this origami thing helped you with uh, architectural designs? You know, for your own work, have you tried to take inspiration from it? Yeah, like I see, I have done very little. Like the ones that I showed you in the presentation, that one pedestal I made. There's a public toilet I did. Then there's there's another couple of buildings that I tried to involve origami into it. It's definitely it made the whole thing very futuristic. The building okay. or the design would look definitely futuristic because of the minimalism and because of the facets that it that were getting formed in the building. Okay. I think that okay. definitely a a way. And uh, like I also said, uh, taking a normal cuboid building and putting a framework over it and then cladding it with the material. And the bad there's a building I keep looking at, uh, White Crow or something like that. It's a normal building. White uh, Sindhu Common Road. Pe. It's a normal building, but you have they have put a tessellation on the building, you know, so it's completely changed the the form of the building. So, as a inspiration, I'm le sakte, uh, you know, uh, both in terms of form and uh, in terms of the the movement aspect of origami, like a sun screen shading system or something like that, something that moves, you know, something that you can control from the inside. So screening or anything like that. Okay. Uh, can I ask you one more question? Yeah. Uh, does these origami structures be used for making large scale real buildings? Like how much is the feasibility regarding structure on the larger scale? See, I think larger scales may the all the case studies that I have been going through. They have taken more or less. They have taken inspiration from the form of the origami. Okay, so they have converted the the, the design into uh, RCC or steel. Mm -hmm. So I think jitna jada hum last scale mein jayenge, utna jada structurally bhi we have to we have to be careful, right? We have to be we cannot uh, use folded plates to make the whole building. Usme structure aspect will come. Self weight bhi hota hai usme. So we cannot be like we cannot be making a building directly out of wood or out of some kind of a planar material. I think we have to look at the structure also. So structure, something is something that comes primarily. I think as we go larger. Okay. उसमें आप cladding कर सकते हो framework करके या तो RCC जैसे बहुत सारे buildings मैंने आपको दिखाए एक वो वाला एक टेलीवीव का था एक एक बिल्डिंग था देन देर वाज दिस द हीलियोस हाउस दैट आई शोड यू दैट वाज दैट पेट्रोल पंप आई शोड यू दैट वाज लाइक अ स्टील स्ट्रक्चर बट विथ क्लाइड विथ एसीपी और समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड देन देर वाज दैट दैट चैपल इन स्विट्जरलैंड उसमें उन्होंने वुड का बनाया सो but uh, at the same time, if you if you go to that uh, that uh, that Tel Aviv building, now that is completely an RCC. I think it's an RCC building. Okay, उसमें उन्होंने form लिया हुआ है. They have taken the form of the origami, the facets, how it how you get the faces, how each face reflects light. So वो inspiration उन्होंने उन्होंने लिया उसमें. Okay. Yes, I think uh, this was the last question of the day. Okay. Uh, I would like to thank you for this uh, being on this platform and giving your knowledge about origami. Thank you so much. I think because of you uh, and because of all these workshops, even mera bhi knowledge badta hai. Like I go into each time there's a presentation, I update my presentation, and I, I I always come across new buildings and new structures. You know that this origami used kiya hua hai. So even I learn a lot uh, during these workshops. So I think thank you for uh, this uh, this opportunity for uh, so this, for this presentation and for the workshop. So ultimately, I think we all should have fun. I mean, uh, just uh, 
doing nothing is boring i think that is the prime objective of origami you know making beautiful models spending time meditating and then you pick it you usme se aap pick karna hai we have to pick out of this art uh, all the inspiration that we can get you know how we can use it uh, in various things how we can save space definitely yeah <laughs> that is true <laughs> okay so i would like to thank you once again for coming here thank you and thank you for uh, attending ida summit